everybody talks about their childhood memories of these machines and they they feel that they should have been still there but as time would have it we are not having any machines now we came into this business in 1957 and initially we got uh, one or two import machines then we started manufacturing in india ourselves but this used to be a trend in europe and all in uh, europe uh, there used to be machines and on the railway stations and all the only thought process difference is that you see those uh, uh, photographs of actors and all at the back with a caption written uh, about your uh, character about your um, the kind of person you are that was the uh, thing which we introduced and it made a lot of difference we had a customer strength of i would say 100 150000 each day our company and the other company also used to have the same uh, same uh, customer strength that means there were almost 3 lakh people weighing themselves every day throughout the country so that was the kind of uh, following that these machines had uh, when we were on peak i think we had around 1500 machines running all over the country right from kashmir to kanyakumari mostly all the machines were running on railways with the railways and the railways have suddenly come out with their own policy of i think they just don't need these machines and then they don't need any extra money and uh, today i think we have only around 3 uh, to 400 machines running we have a staff uh, who have worked with us for almost 40 years 45 years when they were running running on peak uh, uh, strength we used to have a staff of almost 125 people today we have only a staff of around 10 people the railway was earning more than 2 crore rupees a year from this business without investing a single penny of their own so you can't say that it was not running well we had a turnover of almost what 4 crores a year one or two machines are still running in delhi but even those with the cardboard ticket and actress photographs would be wound up now i think next month that will be the last and that's it